Hey y'all. Oh, did you forget? You are wonderful, kind, beautiful, and amazing. If you are having a bad day, I want you to know that the weapons are formed, but they shall not prosper. You are already victorious in the Lord Jesus Christ. You have everything already inside of you to accomplish every dream, goal, and desire. God is on your side. He has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. All your crooked paths have been made straight. He is on your team. He has never forgotten you, nor has he forsaken you. So walk in victory on today. Walk with your head held high, knowing that the story is already written and you've already overcome. You've already overcome. You've already overcome. The devil is still a liar. Anything negative that is happening in your mind, it is of the enemy. Depression does not belong to you. Anxiety does not belong to you. <laughs> Obesity is not your portion. You are energetic and full of life and full of love. Life is to be up and lived. Get up and live on today. You have God's power, girl power, guy power, but most importantly, you have God's power. So I just ran to Walmart and picked up a couple things. I needed some barbecue sauce for dinner, dinter. <sighs> I'm picking up some barbecue sauce for dinner. Y'all, I started this new pixie treatment on my face today. And so we're gonna see. This is what it's looking like right now. I use the cleanser and I use the toner and then you use the mask at night. So, but I'm getting ready. I picked up the camera because I'm getting ready to go check out Ross before I go home because it's right on the way. And if they're having a 49 cent sale for new inventory, I'm gonna show y'all what they got. So check your Rosses out to see if they have these deals. So I got a little bit of change in my pocket, not too much because I'm on a saving journey. I'm on a saving journey because y'all know I gotta pay for my phlebotomist course and then um, work on some things to get my baby a house. This is the last year that I'm renting in Jesus holy mighty name I'm claiming that and I'm walking in it so I'm gonna be purchasing a home this is the year of the open mouth you better speak that thing so I'm about to go to Ross y'all and I'm gonna see if they got the sale going on I don't know if it's this week or if it's gonna be next week but if they are I'm gonna take you along and see what they have so I'll talk to y'all when we get there y'all I pulled in to um, Ross already but I had two cents that I wanted to share. Oh, where's Teach? Teach? Oh, TJ is having a day out with his aunt. She had to go get her car checked on and take it to the shop and all that stuff. So they're out having a day and going out to lunch. So she has him. So I figured, ooh, let me go do a little something, something. But I wanted to say, I have two cents to say on the Royals and Harry and his wife leaving and I want to say there is nothing more attractive nothing more honorable nothing more sexy nothing more loving and kind for a husband to care about the soul and the spirit and, and to take first, how do I, to take first, you know, the inventory, I don't know if it's inventory, but to make sure that her well-being, her heart, her spirit, her mind is number one over riches, over titles, over all of that. It's just, it warms my heart. And I know that the queen is in a panic and she don't understand and it's crazy and it's never been done before, but now is the time. Now is the time to do things that has never been done before. Now is the time, I don't know if it's the lighting. Okay, there we go. Now is the time. Now is the time, what else are we waiting for? Do you know? I mean, she'll never be treated as an equal you know, because of her race. So she'll never, the things that she must have told him in secret of what she's heard and all of this stuff. But I'm just, I'm so excited for them. I'm so happy. And anybody who would have anything negative to say 
about someone deciding to do what is best for your soul and spirit mind body health family he has a family and it is his god-given right to do whatever to protect them at all costs so i'm so happy for them i'm so excited for breaking barriers doing things that are outside of the norm because don't forget your mom passed away from paparazzi flash the pressure she was already saying i am not well i am not well this is too much for me this is too much for me it's too much the judgment the critique the this the that all day every day all day every day the intensity of it all we can't we can't do this and so i'm just i'm ecstatic for them i'm excited you know it, it's not easy to do things that are outside of the box outside of the norm because of what people are going to say think or you know make up stories make up lies but at the end of the day god knows god knows and as long as he knows walk it out walk it out walk it out and be true to who you are be true to yourself it is too many people walking around here not being true to who they really truly are got things inside of you that you really want to do or things inside of you that you really want to say but you don't know how to say it or you got people in your corner who may take it the wrong way or you got people you know around you that may not accept the things that you have to say say it anyhow do it anyhow because as long as God is for you, who can be against you? I'm excited for him. Break the barriers. Shatter the norm. <laughs> you are looking out for the best interest of soul and spirit of your wife. And she comes first. And I love it. Now let's go in Ross and see what they got going on. Y'all, I really don't see anything like super drastic as far as like the 49 cent or 69 cent sales I do got some cute stuff I do need a chair for my vanity desk but I mean I ain't trying to shop like that but I am trying to find something ooh they got a lot of nice stuff in here this out real cute if that's what you're looking for but I don't see Ooh. that's cute it's my source I don't need none of this stuff I don't need any of this stuff I just wanted to see if I can catch a deal Got a lot of stuff. No wine and be happy. Do your own thing. Enjoy life. Believe and dream big. And I know I talked about getting my kids a house, y'all. But I'm speaking it right now. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. I'm claiming when it's time to get my babies a house, it's going to be zero down. I don't know the first thing about purchasing a home, realtors and all that. It don't even matter. As long as the Lord is on your side, there's nothing. Maybe I can check back in a couple days. Ain't nothing here, y'all. I right, look, I'm losing weight, y'all. The scale is moving and grooving. I'm just in some regular Nikes, some tights, and a shirt that say blessed. On the back it say too blessed to be stressed and too thank too grateful to be thank too grateful to be something. What is on the back? I don't know. And a feel I had. And I'm almost in the two seventies. I'm just chilling, hanging out. All right, y'all. Ain't nothing in here. Okay, y'all. So, I talked to the lady and she said that um, for here, the sale have not started yet. She said they did a little bit of it, but it hasn't really started yet. So, it's going to be, for this store, it's going to be next week. So, she was like, next week, everything in Home Goods, whatever will be marked down. She was like, it's going to be 49 cents, 69 cents toward the lows. That's going to be like toward the end of the month. She said maybe like the 23rd or the 24th. But come back next week and then come back the last week before the last week of that month to where you'll see those prices on the clearance racks and check home goods and stuff like that. So I didn't get anything out of there. 
um, but I will be back to just to kind of see what they have and all of that. So I guess it just depends on where you live, the different timings that they'll do the sale or whatever for new inventory. So check out your local Rosses, you guys, and don't miss a good deal. You can't miss a good deal. You cannot miss a good deal. It is now 117. That's all I had to do. Um, I'm about to go home. Dinner is on the slow cooker, but I'm about to go home and just start cleaning up and put me on some gospel music. Read a little bit of my Bible since TJ is gone. And um, I think I'm also gonna give me a wrap from Chipotle because Chipotle is right there, literally. I'm also gonna give me a wrap from Chipotle, a chicken wrap with the creamy lime avocado sauce. Yeah, y'all. And then um, I am doing intermittent fasting. I'm not really working out like that, but I am fasting. I'm probably down to like a meal and a snack in a day. And then I'm fasting throughout the rest of the day. So, and kind of meditating and praying and all that good stuff. So, close but no cigar today. I think that's about it. I would say I was gonna do a cleaning, but because I don't know how to edit yet and do all that and tune out the backgrounds. I need my tunes and I need my, yeah. So, all right, y'all. That's it. Until the next time, inspired, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day. Not Chipotle. I'm looking at Chipotle right here, but I meant Chick-fil-A, a chicken wrap with the creamy lime avocado sauce. Chipotle got this new salad though, with the greens and the super greens that you can build, which will be really good. So, but I don't I don't want that, I want, I think I'm, I'm doing Chick-fil-A real quick. So I'm gonna have that and then finish dinner. <sighs> yeah! Y'all, I'm at home. Y'all wanna watch me break my fast before I, um, Going to the house, I'm hungry. And y'all, I'm not the one to sit up here and say what to do and give anybody any type of diet advice or anything like that. All I know is I'm doing the best I can and taking it day by day. And some days I still fall, some days I still make mistakes, some days I still, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, fasting and getting it together you know not only for my body but for my mental health too because the enemy the enemy been lying to me like i said oh i know i struggle with uh depression or whatever but that's not my portion that is not my portion mental mental i got some chick-fil-a sauce for my fries and i got a coke zero to drink can't even taste the difference so that's what I'm doing. Oh, I went to go drop off the paperwork for TJ because um, he's having his oral surgery on the 22nd for them to fix his teeth. And you know, it's gotta be done at the um, hospital because of his condition. So I had to go drop off the clearance form from, for the doctor, for the dentist. I'm just gonna put this right here on the side and use it as a dipping sauce. Baby. I just picked up me some seat covers because the kids, been, my car was so filthy and I wouldn't had it cleaned. And I got some seat covers. Y'all know I love butterflies. I got some butterfly seat covers. I got some fries. Chick-fil-A sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for my baby. Get a tea fix. And oh, I hope they didn't. I was gonna say all that amazing service, and y'all didn't give me a fork. They'd be like, God bless you. Have a blessed day. Chick-fil-A got the best service and they always have the hottest food. I did get a small side of mac and cheese, so I wanted to see what the hype was about. So I'm not gonna eat dinner. This is my dinner right now. This is my dinner. Um, let's see what this tastes like, y'all. Y'all want a bite? 
You want a bite? Take a bite. Yummy, yummy, yum. Oh, it's spilling. Oh, the back of my shirt. Now I know what it says. Too blessed to be stressed and too grateful to be hateful. That's what it said down the back. And that's exactly how I feel every day. I will celebrate with you. It's good. Real good. Hot. You know, I have to worry about your food being cold. Let's dig into this wrap. These are my favorite. I always order these with the creamy lime avocado sauce. Y'all want to bite? You want to bite? You want to bite? But, yeah, y'all. I'm just thinking about the Royals. And I'm just like, mm. If not now, then when? Y'all doing that girl wrong? And it's too much. Sometimes things can be too much. And there's nothing wrong with it. Doing what best for your spirit. Your mind. Just think. How many times? This is a lot of carbs. I'm going to eat a little bit more of the mac and cheese. And then um, my snack is going to be some watermelon pieces. In a couple hours. Probably about three or four. I'm not eating dinner. And then I'll be done. I'll be fasting for the rest of the day. I'm probably going to break my fast until tomorrow morning. Or about when it's time. I use this app. Let me tell y'all. I'm mm, so hungry. Mm, watch me eat. Y'all know this Chick-fil-A sauce is so bomb. You know it. I'm going to mess up my new... Hard to squeeze out. This app called It is so humid. Yesterday it was cold. It's humid, it's raining, it's wet. Let me show y'all. It just keeps track of your um Um, it's called life fasting. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hello. It's called life fasting. Download the app in that fire symbol right there is letting you know that your body is in ketosis. And if you just push this timer right after you finish your last meal, you push start. And it'll start keeping track of it and it has the plus and minus sign here and you can determine how many hours you would like to fast if you're a starter you maybe want to start off with maybe like four hours or five hours and then boost up i fast for 18 hours i do between i do between 14 and 18 hours of fasting is what i usually do um it'll let you know when your body is reaching ketosis It'll let you know when your body is breaking down cells. It'll let you know, you know what I'm saying? Like fasting is beneficial. And just think about it in the biblical terms. Like when they were fast, they couldn't tell they were very, very, um, very, very healthy. So it breaks down the cells. It helps reduce this cancer and different sicknesses and stuff like that. Now it's starting to rain, pick up rain again. But it's very hot. So... Fasting, do your research. Don't just go off of what I'm saying. Fasting has so many benefits. So many benefits. Helps you live longer. You know what I'm saying? And it's important to just incorporate it in your diet every day. Even if it's one meal, a few hours. Start off slow and build your way up. But I do 14 to 18 hours. But I've been kind of messing up 
here and there because I'm trying to get back on track and I'm trying to, but the scale is moving. I'm almost in the 270s. Can't wait. I think I had a pound or two to go, but my cycle was coming, so ain't no need for me to check. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm so happy. I just pray to God I stay consistent. Stay consistent. Ooh, I'm hungry, y'all. This is so good. Healthier option. I could have did a salad. I've been doing good. I haven't been eating no candy, no chocolate, no none of that. Low carb. I've been making my food on a small plate. I'm just doing the best that I can. That's it. I'm going to take a couple more bites of this mac and cheese. It's good. I wouldn't say that it's your grandmama's mac and cheese or my auntie's mac and cheese or nothing like that but it's good it's hot and fresh and maybe Tuesday I eat the rest but that's a lot of carbs mm -hmm. when I cook also another thing and this is just me giving you little little tips we don't drink Kool-Aid we will have the crystal light every now and then but other than that we only drink a sugar-free Gatorade sugar-free um Diet iced tea, that's no sugar. Sugar-free ketchup, like the things that we can get sugar-free, we do that. And then I order the soul bread off of Amazon to make for my baby lunches. And when I make dinner, when I cook, I only cook a protein and a vegetable. I don't usually make a carb with dinner. I know I have the hamburger helper, but I ain't cooked hamburger helper in probably like two years. I don't cook macaroni and cheese, rice a none of that stuff. None of that stuff. So I only usually do a protein and a vegetable. Like today, I'm doing the ribs. And I'm gonna saute the Brussels sprouts. I hope they like it. Saute the Brussels sprouts and some bacon. Mm -hmm. And saute like that. And do rice and pastas and all that. I don't cook it at all. Plus, the kids still sneak. I was a sneaky eater too. So I can't blame him. But especially Terry Allen too, she's a sneaky eater. Going to the bathroom, sneak food, or I go in her room and clean up and find wrappers and stuff around her bed, under the bed. So why do I need to add carbs to your meal when you already sneaking around? Or I just don't buy it. The lunches are the um, protein chips or skins. That's low carb, that's all you get in there. Peanuts, celery, bell peppers, stuff like that. But, because I'm the leader, I gotta get myself all the way together. And so that's what I'm working on, to be able to be an example. Cause I used to hate what my mama said. You do what I um. I be dipping that avocado um. Lime sauce is good. Y'all want another bite? I'm getting full. And another thing too, when you start fasting, you get full easy. You don't, you don't touch as much. Yesterday, that plate that I showed y'all. That's what I ate. And that was it. And that was at 3.30. That was about 3.30 before Deanna came. About, yeah, about 3.30. And... Oh. Yep. 
but that's it y'all i'm just trying like i told y'all the other day i'm trying to be better do better feel confident feel good feel comfortable lose this weight and keep it off and when i'm encouraging y'all i'm encouraging myself when i'm speaking life to y'all i'm speaking life to myself and that's real and it's making a difference i get up every day i'm taking my b12 vitamins i do not claim depression it is not my portion i'm energetic i'm complete i'm whole if the bible says that that he's a mind regulator a mind regulator that means yes we do struggle with issues but the lord he's a mind regulator he will fix it he will regulate um, that, yeah, I'm standing on that. But anytime I start feeling anything, I'm going to go into prayer. Because the Bible says, in his presence is the fullness of joy. And I was thinking, when you get like that, it's because you ain't in his presence like you need to be. You're not praying like you need to be. Or you're letting the weight of your issues tear you down. Life is an intentional thing. You got to be intentional about getting up intentional about taking a shower intentional about you know you got to force yourself and once you do it it feels so good you be like dang i'm glad i did that mm -hmm. i'm glad i did that so i'm full y'all want another bite i don't want to eat after you take a bite take a bite take a bite Take a bite, y'all. All right. I already said my outro. I'm done. We ate together. I hope y'all good and full. 